Eight five receiving. Call receive from Telgo Road is eight p. A woman's reporting noises from her rubbish chute. I'll get the same. It's the carry. She's a bit distressed. It's probably just a cat got itself stuck. But if you wouldn't mind checking it out. Frigging cats. And don't kick it. The woman's name is Mrs. Turville. She lives at number seven Logan House. That's seven Logan House. I hate cats, you know. Thank you, eight five over and out. So Stan Herlock's turned up his toes then? Who's that? Stan Herlock, custody sergeant on Hackney. Retired three months ago. 30 years service, all set for idyllic retirement in Suffolk, and then wham, Thrombo, another one I didn't collect. When I become the first black commissioner, Claire, I'm going to turn all these miserable old gits out of their nice warm cat rooms and put them back on the streets. I'm not being miserable. I'm merely pointing out that every other copper who retires seems to see it as his duty to snuff it before Super Ann have coughed up a penny. Well, they're white, aren't they? <laughs> Degenerate. Now, when I retire... You, Hayes, you'll be out of the job before you're 30. They'll run out of caps big enough. <laughs> Everything all right, Tom? No, Mum. He's harassing me. Well, somebody has to do it, Hayes. Morning. Mrs. Turville? Yes, thanks for coming. I hope I'm not wasting your time. It's over here. I was just emptying the kitchen bin on my way to work and I heard it. You reckon it's a cat, do you? Well, I thought so at first, but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, it sounds like a cat to me. I should fetch the caretaker. We haven't got one. I don't think it is a cat anyway. I think it sounds more human, don't you? Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar from 743, receiving, over. Sierra Oscar, receiving, over. Right, sir. Telgar Anything Road else gone, apart from the lectern, as far as we can see? a plastic bag in a rubbish bin. Uh -huh. A new baby? Yeah, I think so. What do I do? Well, get, get it right over to the general, to quick. Okay. Don't unwrap it or anything. Maybe Just keep it as warm as you can and go, right? I'll let them know you're coming. Fine. Ramsey? Right. Yeah, right, Sarge. St Mark's Church of Lost Their England. Sure it's not a stork. Oh, the you didn't see anybody who might have. Could have been someone upstairs. We were right under the chute. I'll have to worry about that later. Sierra Oscar, 85 from Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving over? 85 receiving. Go straight to casualty, Pete. They'll have someone from the special care unit waiting for you, okay? Yeah, right. Thanks, Sarge. And drive carefully. Oh, it's just callous, that's all. Who did you send to St. Mark's? Taff and Ken. Both of them? It's a church, not a riot. Well, it seemed easier than asking one of them to eject from the van. Well, I think it's well out of order. What? Thieving from churches. I thought all thieving was out of order. You know what I mean. More out of order. Like mugging old ladies? Yeah. No. Well, it's just... It's not right somehow. Like vandalising graves. Or violation. Sacrilege. Yeah. Sacrilege. Did you go to church then, Taff? Me? No. Chapel. Well, yeah, chapel. When I was a kid. Only because I had to, mind. Do you believe in God? I don't think I do, as it happens. What's especially wrong with stealing from churches? Why do you think it's worse than stealing from a factory? Or I something? don't know why I think it's worse than stealing from a factory. Well, everybody thinks it's worse than stealing from a factory, don't they? Superstition, then. All right, superstition. I was only trying to make conversation, for God's sake. I just like to know the religion's there, that's all. Well, in case you change your mind. What's it to you, anyway? You don't go to church, do you? 
Well, actually, I do. Well, I've got the time. Not like this, though. House groups. You know, charismatic. But you? Born again Christian? Yeah. When the shift's allowed. Mr Ford? Hello. My wife, Kath. How did they get in, sir? Broke the window up there. Kath noticed it when she was walking the dog. It's getting beyond a joke. We're the fourth church in the last three weeks. Yes, we are aware of that, madam. Can we have a look inside, sir? Yeah, sure. One of those eagle ones, was it, sir? Solid brass? Yes, solid brass and ugly as sin. <laughs> Worth a few bob, though. Even melted down. Not that much, I shouldn't have thought. Usually stands over there. Nothing else missing? We keep everything else locked up. Kath and my parish council are great ones for locking things up. <laughs> well, we wouldn't get insurance otherwise, would we, dear? Well, come a time and they won't let me open the church on Sundays. You can see where it's been dragged across to the south door. This door's locked, is it, sir? Yes, but the key's always in the door. Also, it could have been an inside job, then. Well, knowing about the key. Officer, the average age of my congregation is 108. The six of them together couldn't have shifted that monstrosity. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, we'll just have another look outside. Uh, if you could leave that area by the door clear until the scenes of crimes office has been around, and the CID will want to have a look as well. Any chance of them making it before 10 o'clock? We've got a service for the local junior school. Before that, or after 12? Well, we'll pass it on to them. like we must have a domestic on our hands. <laughs> Disordered. Three, she could be a wino. Oh, and she gives birth, wraps a baby up neatly in a carry bag and sticks it down the ship. No, 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 that's Junkie all right. A wino, Let the miserable old get to all the work. Maybe she just Sierra Oscar, are you receiving over? Yeah, this is it from Mark, Sarge. Just the lectern stolen. Could you notify the soccer when Mike Dashwood? Well... Quiet! Now you've upset me. Wound. Sorry, Edwards. Notify the soccer and... Mike Dashwood. Churches, isn't it? For his sins, yes. It stopped crying about a minute ago. You're waiting for her to make a statement, are you? Oh, it's a girl, is it? Can't you tell the difference? I'm overlooking this, I'm asked. She's gonna be all right, though, isn't she? Poorly but stable at the moment. She's in an incubator, but she's a good weight. Six and a half pounds. Oh, only five. My name's Pete. You ever go out with coppers, do you? Not until Christmas. I'm on double shifts. But if the baby is still alive, I mean, if we're not talking murder or manslaughter, only as you know, we are very short-staffed up here at the moment. 
One font cover, one bust, three plates, four candlesticks, a statue, and now a lector. Well, perhaps they're setting up a church of their own. Well, if it is the same mob, this is the first time they forced an entry. Right. You seen this? What? Letter from the bishop. Why, does he want to become a special constable? <laughs> Inspector Fraser trying to deploy CID staff as usual. Right. Who's going to Streatham? I am. I thought I was. No, you're going to St. Mark's. No, I'm not. Yeah, come on, give us keys. Oh, oh for heaven's Mike. sakes, fight it among yourselves. I'm, I'm going to see the pigs. No! Just a day old, according to the hospital. Poor little thing. Complete with afterbirth, and the cord hadn't been cut properly either, so the mother could be in the right state. Probably a runaway, or a Tom. Poor oh, whoever she is, I hope she bleeds to death. There was a breakfast, Martina. Uh, yes, Inspector. Um, they sorted the lights at Bretton Street, uh, so I thought... Uh, tell Guy stay afterwards, OK? House to house with PC Ramsey when he gets back from the hospital, trying to trace the baby's mother. No doubt you'll have been well briefed. I wish they'd give her a run, though. Yeah, I saw it, Rich. Poor old Stan. One of the best farewell booze-ups ever. Hey, yeah, of course, you know what did for him, don't you? Scotch and bitter. Nah, shift work. Huh? Well, it's killing us all, Sergeant. It's cotton up our circadian rhythms. Right. Yeah. There he is, our little angel of mercy. You all right, lad? It's terrific, Sarge. I'll never let him carry a bag in the face again. Yeah, well, don't go into post-shock trauma, because you're on house to house next. Oh, um, how's the baby? Still 50-50 when I left. Hello? Morning. Mr. Staples. Uh-huh. Sunhill Police, sir. Sunhill. Where's that? Tower Bridge and turn right. I've just picked up some property from Streatham Police Station, sir. Candlesticks and a statue stolen from a church on our patch. I understand they, uh, turned up here in your shop initially. Yeah, that's right. Bought them off a guy who came in last week. Occupational hazard. I'm a pine chess man, really. I gave a description of the guy to Streatham. Yeah. White, early 50s, slight build, thinning hair, blue cord trousers, light grey windsheeter, cockney accent, shifty and nervous looking. Came in with the items in a black plastic sack. Type of bloke you usually do business with, Mr. Staples? I buy artifacts, not character references. <laughs> and the price was right. 20 quid for the candlesticks, 30 for the statue. They're worth 10 times that. I thought you were just a pine chest man. You pick up a bit as you go along. Yes, well, I should be a bit more choosy about what you pick up in future. Or you might just find yourself being done for receiving. Yes, sir. Major. 30 quid. It's an original. What's this all about? I'm supposed to be examining the scene of the crime. Well, you're gonna have to wait, <laughs> mate. This is since their service for the school. Ah, you're a saint, are you? Just a guest. What time's it finish? About 11 o'clock. Why aren't you coming? Well, being CRD, I don't have an hour to waste. Look, just make sure the little bleeders don't touch anything, all right? Yes. So what do you actually do in these house groups of yours? You worship, read the Bible, sing. Discuss things. But, like, if there's a god, what the hell's he doing letting people stuff babies down rubbish chutes? That kind Sierra of thing. Oscar, two from Sierra Oscar, you're receiving over. Yeah, give us a chance, Malcolm. We ain't in the friggin' van yet. Pass it by reports. Burglary in progress in Killer Road, number 41. Can you investigate, please? Yeah, yeah, message understood, Sierra Oscar. We're on our way. That's we know there's a god tap. And we know there's suffering. Well, there's joy as well, you know. Oh, good. Burglar is apparently a woman. Any help, blood? 
That's your house, is it, madam? I don't live here, no. Do you mind if I had a look in your back? Yes, then? I would mind, frankly. It's none of your business. And perhaps you could explain where you appear to have broken in. I have every right to force an entry. My solicitor said so. Is that right, madam? Well, these are my things, not his. He doesn't own them any more than he owns me. For God's sake, do I look like a burglar? So what you're trying to tell me is that this is your husband's house? And that you used to live here? Till I couldn't stand it anymore, yes. Got any proof? Any documentation? No. I don't have any documentation. What about the neighbours? Perhaps they could verify your story. I very much doubt it. I've never met any of them. Well, I'm sorry then, madam, in that case. Oh, look, it's, it's disgraceful. I'm not be treated like a criminal. Don't make things worse than they already are, please, madam. Now, if you just come down to the station with us, I'm sure we can sort things out. I shall sue you for this! These circadian rhythms never stop, you know. Maybe that's why you have such an affinity with them, Reg. You just can't tell your body it's night time when it's not, and vice versa. It is still trying to do things the right way round, whether you're on early lates or nights. Nah, we're abusing our bodies all the time. Hey, what do you mean, we are? You're on permanent days. Too late now, mate. I'm irreparable damage. Mm -hmm. You won't like it the way it is. You wind it out too much, you end up sleeping on our time instead of the firm's. Over 100 shift changes a year. No wonder clock was dropped dead as soon as it stops. It's like winding a clock arse about face for 30 years and flinging it against the wall. But the spring goes. Done it. Excuse me. Rage, all right if I uh, leave these in the collator's room? What for? In case I'm out. The Vicar of All Souls is coming in to uh, identify and collect them. Well, there's no one in the front office. If there was, Reg, I wouldn't be asking you. Well, yeah, all right, but I don't want to be seen as setting a president. Perish the thought. Thank you. Them things give me the creeps. Who was I? Oh, yeah. Sun Hill Police, can I help you? Oh, any joints and marks? Oh, I couldn't get in the blinking skull kits. Oh, didn't Uniform tell you there was a service on? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Right, so I'm just trying to find the officer that's dealing with it for you. Mike! Trinity yeah. Church, I've got a couple of visitors and one fits the description of your candlesticks, mate. Trinity? Fancy a row. Um, Do we know which chief Wickings are? Gotcha. Yeah. Sent anyone? Sergeant Peters is dealing. Alex out on patrol. Well, it's quite a nice day. Excuse me, Mike. Got a Reverend Loxley at the counter. Come back to candlesticks. Yeah, right. You do the property, I'll do the church. They just wandered in as I was doing the hoovering. I only do the flowers normally, only Mrs. Lewin's laid up with a bad hip. I mean, they weren't doing any harm, just looking around. Well, you should be able to look into a church, shouldn't you now? Yeah, and when you got back from the phone, they disappeared? Yes, well, I thought I'd better ring you at once. Although there doesn't appear to be anything missing. It just shows you how quick we are to draw the wrong conclusions. What about the vestry, Mrs. Morris? Have you checked that? No, I haven't. Join the choir, have we, Brignall? Where's your mate? Mate? What mate? A bit swift, didn't we, Alec? <gasps> He's got my hooper! If Mr. Hewitt could uh, verify her identity. The lady says that the owner of the house, her husband, is abroad at the moment. I see. Well, could you get Mr. Hewitt to phone me as soon as he comes into the office? 
My name is Sergeant Cryer. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Bye-bye. Well, it seems your solicitor isn't in the office. Is there anyone else you Nobody could... else's business. Mrs. Saunders, if you could just give us your new address. That's none of your business. Then we're going to have to wait. I'm sorry. You will be. Don't worry. Would you get the lady another cup of tea, please, Edwards? Certainly, Serge. <sighs> Noxious cow. She goes nowhere till she's proved who she is. Right, Gus. What's all this about churches, then? It's hardly your style, is it? I've got a conscience, Mr. Cry. That's the trouble. Oh, yeah? With 27 previous convictions? Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, think of all the upset I've caused over the years. Making people's money and pension books and videos and stuff. It worries me, you know. Churches is different. Don't do nobody no harm nicking from churches now, does it? Anyway, Tony says they're supposed to give to the poor. Well, we ain't got no fall, have we, Tony? Eh? Nobody ever said these had to be clever. What about this lectern, then? A bit off more than we can chew with that thing, didn't we, Tony? And where is it now? In his backyard. Melvin, job for you and Edwards. Well, I hope the woman's all right. Because it's easy come, easy go with you. Look, never mind the mother. What about the baby? He's been wetting himself all the time we've been out. You have, you mean? Well, the hospital just rang. She's doing all right. She's six to four on there, apparently. Mm, nice one. And the very sexy-sounding nurse who phoned says she does go out with coppers. She can change her shifts. And I'm picking her up Saturday lunchtime. Oh, and they called the little girl Petula after the sweet guy that brought her in. You toe rag. Could be worse, Ramsey. You might have been Chris and Wilfred. Sarge, who the flaming hell? Tom, okay. you seen this? What? Here. Ah, the eagle has landed. Five quid. What? I bet in five quid that'd be the first thing you said. Sorry to be so predictable, Stan. 